Hi everyone, welcome to Trino Code. So today we are going to learn about how we can sort data in a repeating group. So as you all can see that I have already created a repeating group and when we preview it, it's going to look like this. So now we need to perform sort operation on this repeating group data. So how we can sort this data? We can sort this data by name, by price and by rating. So first of all, we are going to create a drop down for sorting our data. And in drop down, we are going to change its placeholder name by sort by and in choice style we are going to select static choices and in basically choice in choices input we are going to write the things by which we are going to um, sort our data like name price and rating okay so now we are going to create a custom state for our repeating group product add a new custom state our state name will be field name our field name is of state type and now going to data source it already have a field name sort by in which we need to select change in which field and dynamic field name will be our repeating group product and our custom state name will which is our field name okay in descending if we didn't select anything it's no and if it's default no and if we want to select anything we can select by clicking on it by yes or no okay so now we are going to create workflow for all these choices which we have filled in sort by drop down so now going to workflow add an event click on add an event go to elements and click an input value is changed when our input value is changed we are going to set state of an element our element will be our repeating group product our custom state will be our field name and our value will be same as we have written in our choices field and when this value will be called only when this drop down value is name okay so now we are going to do the same thing for rating as well as price so i am going to copy this and paste it and now i am going to change value of like now i have going to change value from name to price and in only when it's also be price now for rating the value will be rating and when it will be selected when drop down value is rating okay so now we are going to preview it how it look like now we have sort by drop down in which we have name price and rating if we click on name it's going to sort by name from A to Z as you can see if we click on price it's going to sort by price accordingly and if we click on rating it's going to sort by its rating accordingly 
now you can see that here is some space between here so how we can remove it by going to sort by drop down there we need to take this input should not be empty okay so now if we refresh our page that space will not be shown and these all fields are working thanks for watching